The Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 comes in as the most premium tablet offering from Samsung and as such packs the richest, richest set of features and apps. It runs a TouchWiz modified Android build on either an Exynos or a Snapdragon chipset, depending on whether you get the Wi-Fi or LTE version. Both have 3GB of RAM, which is good news since the latest multi-window incarnation can run up to 4 apps on the screen and you can add floating apps on top of that. How the screen is divided depends on the number of apps you have running and the proportions can be changed by dragging the dot. Note that for three apps, two will have to share the screen vertically. You can't do three columns, for example. The magazine UI is a Windows 8-like part of the home screen where dedicated widgets display news, social networking updates, recent files you've opened, and so on. Widgets can be resized and reordered, and there's a button that automatically changes the layout. Only special magazine widgets can be added, and regular Android widgets are not available here. Those go on the ordinary home screen. Some apps take the multi-window feature to heart. The video player uses it to start playing a video on half the screen while keeping the list of videos visible in case you change your mind and play another. Dragging the divider to the left automatically puts the window in full screen mode. The Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 has a feature complete office package pre-installed. The interface is fairly complex and looks something meant for a keyboard and mouse. You can still use it with your fingers and there's always the S Pen if you need more precision. For text input, Samsung has created a keyboard that takes up a rather large chunk of the screen, but you can switch to a smaller floating keyboard or even a split keyboard. The split keyboard has a definite advantage since it puts all keys in reach of your thumbs. Handwriting recognition is also available for text input, but it serves additional functions too. Action Memo, for example, uses it to read a phone number or email address you've scribbled down, which can subsequently be inserted into your contacts or used to start a Google search. When the S Pen is removed, the Air Command window menu pops up with several handy shortcuts. You can disable this or have Action Memo show up instead. The dedicated digitizer for the S Pen can sense different levels of pressure, which makes a huge difference in Sketchbook, the pre-installed drawing app. It has a wide variety of tools and pressure effects how they work. The app is quite advanced and can handle multiple layers with different blending modes. This is one of the few apps in the premium package that's not business oriented. Anyway, Samsung has customized Android and many of the apps display more information and controls than usual, which not only makes better use of the screen real estate, but also makes work faster.